Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the annoying Corsair K55 RGB is it Pro? Pro keyboard. Um, the problem with this keyboard is um, after you've reinstalled Windows uh, 7, 10, or 11, or server, or whatever you use, um, basically the Windows update is not applying the um, USB patch and it's taking forever to do it so um, basically until your computer is updated even though it says it's got all the updates it's forgetting one kind of patch um, which takes about a month or two to kick in after you've wiped your computer um, and basically it makes this keyboard connect and disconnect and connect and disconnect so you end up um, uninstalling the IQ software just to make it work but it doesn't light up on its own without the software so it's, it's, it's a pain so I'm going to show you how to get that working straight off the bat um, so what you do is if you have this keyboard and you want to fix a problem you go to the Corsair website Corsair.com and you go to downloads so what you want is an older version of the Corsair IQ. So you go down and it says load more. And what you want is, um, it is a legacy version. Let me just check it. Let me just check. Because I've actually saved the file because you know what they're like. They'll remove it. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, right, let's have a look. You want version Free version three thirty eight dot eighty eight. So that should be on here somewhere. So we've got version four. So you want this version here. Version three dot eighty eight eighty eight. Version three dot thirty eight dot eighty eight. So if you've already got IQ software installed already, my recommendation is uninstall it. Um, restart your computer and then download this legacy one install it um, restart your computer and your keyboard should be working don't worry if you've got any other Corsair devices like um, the all-in-one cool thing or a headset that won't show up on the keyboard once you've set your keyboard up got it the way you like it the lights flickering or whatever and it's all working then go back to the IQ website download the latest version install it once you've installed it restart your computer and your keyboard should be working fine so to sum up this is for the K55 Corsair keyboard which keeps connecting and disconnecting after a windows reinstall or you've just bought the keyboard let me know in the comments if this works it's worked for me or it's worked for six other people that i know let me know see you later bye bye